Have you ever thought of yourself as boring? You might feel like you don't have exciting stories to tell or have the adventures that you see on social media and your life doesn't look that interesting to others. It can feel disappointing, but there's a chance you're actually an introvert with a rich inner life instead of a rich external life. With that said, here are five signs you're an introvert and not boring. Number one, you know you're not popular. How many close friends do you have? If you can count them on one hand, you're probably concerned that you're not that popular, but beating yourself up over your social worth is just judging yourself by the standards of someone you're not. For introverts, having few friends doesn't mean you're boring. It means you value quality over quantity. Introverts thrive on a few deep connections rather than many shallow ones. So your dissatisfaction with what you don't have should be redirected into satisfaction with what you do. Number two, you're never the first person to speak out. Are you the last person to speak up in a group setting? If you're hesitant to make the first move in social situations, others may assume you have nothing to contribute and you may feel demoralized as a result. But for introverts, this doesn't mean that you're boring or have nothing to say. It just means that your thought process is different and talking exhausts your mind. Instead of talking through a topic, your mind works best in silent contemplation when you have time to think properly without distraction. Number three. You enjoy solitude. When you enter a new place, is your first instinct to keep to yourself instead of meeting new people? If you don't take initiative to socialize, this might come across as being boring, but for introverts, it just means you prefer your own company as you are your own best friend. And for you, the social world is messy, loud, and full of unnecessary drama. Why drag yourself down and waste energy when you can spend time on things that matter by yourself? Number four you're unlively in social situations. When you enter a social situation, are you the lively, enthusiastic person who attracts everyone in the room or the somber one who just wants to get it over and done with? If you're not upbeat and dynamic when around other people, you might appear boring, but for introverts, it just means you naturally feel the most optimistic in environments that suit your true self. So your feelings might be guiding you to thrive in solitary activities. And number five, you take time to open up. Do you feel like most people don't know the real you? If you're not an outgoing person, others probably don't think of your thoughts, feelings, and hobbies because you don't reveal much about them. Only those closest to you have any idea how deep your personality truly is. And that's the real difference between an introvert and a boring person. Introverts have endless fascinating things about them, but it's all on the inside. So the next time you see the rich external lives of extroverts, Remember that you might have an inner life that's just as rich, but just not as visible. Do you relate to any of the traits mentioned in this video? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and share this video if you think it will help someone else. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Until next time, Psych2Goers, take care.